All right, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, here comes your notes for what we are doing tomorrow. Please start up at the top of a brand new sheet of paper. This should also be written in your table of contents. 5.10, factoring when A is greater than one. This is going to be our new thing for tomorrow. And draw your line down your paper, draw your line across, okay. Factor, we're going to just dive right into examples. So you'll write factor. Six m squared. Oops. That one. Let's do three x squared plus seven x plus two. Okay. So now I want to go back to the fact that this is factoring. And now our a does not equal one. We're missing the equal sign, and now a doesn't equal one. Our steps. Label A, B, C. Step two, set up your diamond. Step three, find the factors. And step four, divide reduce, and swing. D, R, S. This is going to be very important that we do. All right. Step one says to label our A, our B, and our C for this example right here. My A equals three my B equals seven, my C equals two. Please circle that your A equals three and please write DRS next to that so that way we are reminded that we are divide, reduce, and swing for this rather than doing our normal way. Okay, now we need to set up our diamond, step number two. A times C goes on the top, B goes on the bottom. A times C is 6 and B is 7. We're looking for factors of 6 that add to be 7. Positive 1, positive 6. Now we'll write our factors out. X plus 1, X plus 6. These are not our answers. The D stands for divide by a. Now we need to divide our back term by A. My A is 3, so I'm going to divide 1 by 3 and divide 6 by 3. The R stands for reduce. I can't reduce 1 over 3, but I can reduce 6 over 3. So then this is going to become X plus one-third x plus, what is six divided by three? Two. And then S stands for swing. If there's anything still left in the denominator, you are gonna swing that up to the front and that will become my coefficient in front of my x. Three x plus one, x plus two. This is my answer. How can we check? We can check using the box method or FOIL. 3x plus 1, x plus 2. Let's check. 3x times x is 3x squared. 1 times x is 1x. 
3x times 2 is 6x, and 2 times 1 is positive 2. Combine your like terms. 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. Is that my original polynomial up here? Yep, this checks out. So those are my factors. Let's do one more over on the left side. Factor 2x squared minus 15x plus 7. First step, label my a, my b, and my c. a equals 2. Please circle that and put DRS since we have to divide, reduce, and swing with our a equals 2. b equals negative 15. c equals 7. Set up my diamond. a times c is 2 times 7 which is 14, and C is negative, or B is negative 15, rather. I'm looking for factors of 14 that are going to add to be negative 15. Both of these need to equal a negative number, negative 1 and negative 14. Write my factors out x minus 1, x minus 14. This is not my answer. D, R, S. D stands for divide by A, divide by 2. 2 is A, right here. R stands for reduce. I can't reduce 1 over 2, but I can reduce negative 14 divided by 2. That's negative 7. And S stands for swing. Swing anything that's left in the denominator up to be the coefficient in front of my x. 2x minus 1, x minus 7. That's my answer. How can I check? By using box. 2x minus 1, x minus 7. 2x squared, negative x, negative 14x, positive 7. Combine like terms, 2x squared minus 15x plus 7. That checks out. Those are my two factors. I want you guys to try one on your own that I'm going to give you guys. Let's see. Let's see if I can find one quickly here. Hold, please. Let's do, this is one you guys are going to try on your own. Factor, thank you guys for being patient with me. Let's factor 15x squared minus x minus 2. You're going to try that one on your own, doing the method I just saw. If you do not do this video, you're going to end up having missing homework call tomorrow. Try it out. 